Hi Stampers, this is Diane. I'm back again with part two of Diane Will Teach Me That. Uh, the last video I showed you how to make these beautiful leaves and on this video I'm going to show you how to put the card together. I uh, started once before and forgot to turn my heat gun on so this is partially done. This mossy meadow is four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. And then the tangelo twist is five inches by three and three quarters. And then on this white piece, it is three and a half by four and three quarters. And I'm going to do a little stamping on this piece with uh, gorgeous grunge. I'm going to put some little dots all over. And I'm going to use um, Sahara sand because it goes nicely. It's a neutral color. And we're not going to fuss with it. We're just going to stamp. And then I'm going to use these little dotted ones to just go around the top and the bottom. Okay, so that's done. Then I've taken a piece of burlap and I went ahead and cut the top at an angle. And I'm going to... I was going to... let's see... I'm going to take some scissors and just trim this. It doesn't look quite straight. And I'm going to do it upside down so this angle shows. So I'm going to use my heat gun. I'm not real happy with this gun. It's kind of new. It's called Super Bonder. Extremely hot. No matter what position you put it in, it leaks. So I keep it on my silicone pad. And I'm going to try to get this straight along the edge. There. Okay, so I have a little piece of glue dot or glue there that was bunching up so I'm just gonna flatten that out. I've got some little stuff on the bottom that I'm taking off. Now that's perfect. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like. And this is fraying at the bottom which is okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna take these leaves we made on the last video and I told you what I didn't like about it. Um, just a minute. Let's get this uh, greeting put on here first. My last card, my greeting was too far underneath my leaves. So I'm going to actually put it up here because that way the leaves won't be near it. And I'm going to use my Stampin' My Jig as best I can. Stamp it with Mossy Meadow. Perfect. So that's up and out of the way. So my leaves won't. Ew, I've got ink on myself. So my leaves won't uh, interrupt my saying there. So we'll take one leaf at a time and I'm going to move them over so they're. Remember, I told you this one's off the page. I don't want them off the page. So, okay, I'm going to take my heat gun or glue gun. I'm going to put this this way and down a little bit. And I just put ink on the spine so that it'll still fold up. Then I'm going to take my second one, put some hot glue on the spine, and kind of go this way. And then lift, lift it a little bit. Take another one. They get smaller as you go. And I can put this one over here. Lift. And they're nice and secure when you use your heat gun. This is the last one. It's very small. And I'm just going to go this way. 
and lift. So they can all be lifted. And uh, then I went ahead and there is a an acorn on uh, that die. And I on this one I cut it out with the burlap, but it doesn't show. So I'm gonna do it. I'm st I, I cut it out in chocolate chip instead. And I'm just going to throw it in there. I don't want to press it too hard. So I think um, the addition of that chocolate chip on the bottom makes a big difference. So uh, now I'm going to put some adhesive on this because I can't turn that over. It's too bumpy. Oh, come on. So I think this one is much better. Much better. So sometimes, you know, the one I made is usable. I can give it to somebody. They would love it. And they probably wouldn't even notice. But as a stamper, I like this one better. I love the contrast of that acorn down there, that dark brown acorn. Love, love. I love this up here. I just love. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, happy fall. Let's get started. I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy.